Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to episode 33 of RB Plays, FTB's Revelation Pack. That's right, folks, we're back in our modded world, and boy, do I need to put a roof on this place because I'm getting wet, but we're back in our modded world doing all the cool modded things. My name is RB Plays. Thank you so much for stopping by. If this is your first time here, please do consider hitting the uh, subscribe button, get notified every time we put new content up on the channel. Uh, so last time we were together, which was uh, yesterday, uh, we, we built the perfect 100, 100, 100 um, deep resonance crystal, right? We, uh, we need 30 resonating ore, we need like uh, 128 gunpowder, 80 quartz, five nether stars, and a partridge in a pear tree. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, emeralds, 32 emeralds. And, uh, and by putting all of that through here, we get that perfect crystal, which is 100, 100, 100, and it should have like super duper power and not a lot of radiation, like no radiation really. Um, and it should be perfect, right? Now we need to control it, right? Because I can turn this guy on and, and he'll cycle in and out, in and out, in and out. And I thought the best way to control it was with the, uh, with the RF tools uh, RF monitor. But I'm really not thinking that that's the right way to go about this. I'm thinking that there's a better way that we can do this. Um, and it's with something that we already have. So let's go over to the base. I need to get rid of this rain. Um, let's go over to the base. We got a couple quote unquote hours before uh, the sun goes down and we can sleep. But let's go over here to the base. And uh, uh, several episodes ago, we were working on the tree farm and we built something to try and help us manage when the tree farm was going to plant, when it was going to harvest, and all that good stuff. And uh, we failed miserably at it because this doesn't, the, the control of this isn't exactly what I would like to, what I, exactly what I'd like to see or use. Um, so it's not working for us here. So we're going to go ahead and take that out. We're going to get rid of all of this redstone conduit because we're going to need this as well. Uh, redstone conduit, redstone conduit. Redstone conduit, redstone conduit, and redstone conduit. Cool. We're gonna need all of that. Plus, we're gonna need to we're gonna need to make some more. And I want to upgrade. Uh, I want to upgrade this guy because I like this monitor. I like this power monitor. But we also want like to uh, to make it a a much more cool thing. Man, it's still raining. Dang, blab it. Um, not happy about that. Not happy about that at all. Uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and see, can we uh, monitor, can we upgrade this guy? So if we look at the, so here's the power monitor. We also have this graphical power monitor and the graphical power monitor is cool because it will continuously show you the amount of power in a, like a wave in like a, a graph form, what, uh, what, your, what your power system is doing. So you just need some black wool, you need some green dye, some yellow dye, and some uh, red dye. And you can, can turn that into the graphical um, power monitor, which is cool. Then we need some redstone conduits. Uh, so redstone conduits, we have two more there. Seven might be enough. Seven might be enough, but I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna make like 10 more which will give me 12 more. Yeah, that's, that's, I mean, eight more would probably have been sufficient, but it is what it is. Uh, the other thing we need to do is we need to go check on our Batania area. We, we, we automated, quote unquote, automated the, uh, the mana production in the last episode. I need to go and check and see how that's, how that's looking. Um, see if we're running out of, running out of stuff. There's eight. Eight should be plenty because what we're going to be doing is going to be, you know, pretty easy to do. Hey, it's not almost nighttime. Can I sleep now? I can sleep now. Why? Why do I have, why do I have these? Go away. Uh, you can get rid of you, you can get rid of you, you can get rid of you. I was over at the mob farm, so I picked up a bunch of stuff. My magnet is just too powerful. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and sleep and make it stop raining because rain sucks. I hate it. And then we'll go over and we'll try We'll try to do cool things over here at our deep resonance base. Uh, I was flying around, I was flying around last night doing some stuff, and there were creepers on these pedestals. I'm gonna have to do something about that because one of these times they're gonna spawn up here and they're just gonna drop down in here, and I'm gonna walk in and they're gonna blow this whole place up, and that would be horrifying and bad, right? All right, so you are getting power. If I'm not mistaken, all of the stuff in here is getting power from here, right? 
So that being the case, what I would like to do, um, first and foremost, do I have, I do have, I have a couple of blocks here that I can use. So if I just put you right there, that'll give me like a little placeholder and I can put you like that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Booyah, baby, booyah. Uh, and so you are filling up with power now. That's perfect. Your power monitor is telling me that we have 8 million RF. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 million RF. Cool. And I want to do some redstone control. I want to do redstone control so that it'll emit a redstone signal whenever power drops below 75% in this. So 75% of 8 million, uh, that's 750 per, so what, 50, 540,000, give or take, right? Give or take, 540,000. Um, so whenever power drops below a certain level in here, I want this to emit a redstone signal, and that redstone signal will then go to our generator controller and turn it on, right? I'm gonna need another one of, I'm gonna need, I need to get rid of you, because you, no, you are no bueno. And I also need to get rid of you, because you are also no bueno. No bueno. Um, get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this. And that's a generator, so I can put power conduits there. So let's get some power conduits. Did I not bring any power conduits with me? Yeah, I have power conduits, cool. So if we go like that, like that, and like that, right? That will automatically output power from the generators over to this guy. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I have two generators in there. I think I actually need to hook up power to both of them, I think. And this will work because this will actually give me if I can ever break this, uh, it'll actually, yeah, that's a generator there, isn't it? Yeah, sure it is. So we can do that, and then we can do this. Don't need that. Okay, cool. Uh, let's get some blocks. I don't have any blocks. This is not good. I have no blocks. Uh, but let's do this. Let's, uh, let's break some stuff and get in here, because I actually figured out something else as well. Um, we were looking at the placement of this crystal, right? And the placement of the crystal, you, it... It, the the way that the the pedestal is facing is the direction that it actually places the crystal. So this this face right here that you see is going to place the crystal to the right of the of the of the pedestal. But if I take this pedestal and turn it facing up, it will actually place the crystal on top of itself. So we want to do that. I, I, I want that to I want this to look a certain way, right? So we're going to take and put the pedestal here. Put the pedestal here, yeah, pedestal here. We're not getting any bad effects because this hasn't been running in a while, so it should be fine. But anyway, if we do that, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And then if we take you, can we take you and do some stuff with you? Do you have anything in you? No. And do this, and do that, and do this. Uh, chest, there's chest. If we do that, we'll have to get back under here and, and do some configuring of, well, I might be able to do it right here, yeah? Yeah, yeah, where's my yellow wrench? I can probably do it like this. Yeah, we can. So we want to extract on green, we want to, I think we want to insert on green and extract on brown. Extract always active, right? Extract, always active. And then this over here, you are insert on brown. No, oh, what did I just do? No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. Dag flab it. Quit it. There we go. Uh, actually, I do want one there, don't I? Oh, well, we'll fix that in a minute. Uh, I want you to insert on brown, but I also don't want you to take crystals. So we're going to need another... We're gonna need another one of these guys, another filter. So let's get a filter of this variety. Yes, please. Do I have all the stuff? No, I don't have any paper. Paper. We need four pieces, which means we'll make six pieces, which is cool and fine and stuff. One, two, three, four. So there's a filter for that. And I want you Mr. Filter to blacklist 
crystals, right? And that should that should save us from taking the crystal out of that chest. So if I put the crystal into this chest, right? uh, like that. Nope. You should do a thing. You should do what I tell you to do. You should be pulling out of that, shouldn't you? Apparently not. Uh, I'll have to work on that. I'll have to work on that. I'll have to figure that out because I thought that it was supposed to pull. Yeah, there's a way. You know what? There's a way we can do this. There's another way we can do this. Let's just do it like this. Let's break this. If we can break it. We'll break this. We'll break this. We'll just have this insert crystals on green here. And then it will automatically output it to the chest and then that'll be fine. So let's just do that. So you are going to not insert. You're going to extract on brown. And then you, you are going to do that. And you're going to do that. You are not going to extract, but you are going to insert on green, right? Yeah, that should work. That should work. And then if we take and put this stuff back down on the floor like that, that should fairly well seal off this room. I mean, I might have to do some more stuff underneath that chest to make it do its thing, but it is what it is. Um, and then if I put the crystal in here, right, where'd the crystal go? Is it in the chest? It's in the chest still. If I put the crystal in here, yeah, it places it on top. Perfect. Um, so that being the case, I don't need this filter in here anymore because the only thing that's going to be in that chest is going to be spent, uh, spent crystals. So we don't have to worry about that. So we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. We'll do that. And that will cool. That would make that all cool. We'll do this. And then down here, we just need to break this like so, and we need to plot, and we need to get you connected up to some redstone conduit. So redstone conduit like that. Uh, you, actually, can I just do this? I should be able to just do this. So you, on the up, are going to output on red. Yes, output on red. You should be connected. You are cool. We're going to need to get over to this mess over here, so let's do some digging. As soon as I find my tools. My tools are all jacked up. Uh, several, uh, several people have asked me, dude, why don't you use a, uh, a backpack? I have one. It's, it's in, my, it's in, my, uh, it's in my, uh, my, my refined storage system. Uh, don't need to be over there. New, do need to be over here, though. So, Oh, you're a conduit cover there. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with that. I'm going to go right here because this is a, probably the better place. Yeah, this is the better place. So here we're going to come down with redstone conduit. Come down with redstone conduit, like over this way. We need you. Nope, not you. Dag, flab it. Where's my wrench? Oh, gonna have to do it like that. I see. I see how you are. Hey, perfect. I got the right one. And then you, and then you, you go like, no, that is so not what I wanted to put there. Oh, well, it's fine. We need some more of you. Yeah, there's, those are fine. Then we need one of you. One of you. One of you. And if I do this on the south, redstone input. Yes. Cool. So now. Now, if I go like this, if I come in here and tell him, let's see, your power is your power is kind of full. Let's change you. We're going to stop receiving power from 
extra utilities. We're going to send deep resonance power, right? So that should start to drop. Once it drops below 75%, we want to emit a redstone signal, right? And it did it. It did it. And it should go, I want to go until we get to 90%. So once this thing hits 90%, then it should turn itself off, right? And it should stay off until it drops back below 75% again. And that thing is making, if I'm not mistaken, that thing's making about 17 or 18,000 RF a tick. But we're losing RF? Why are we losing RF right now? I think we're losing RF right now because we're powering, I think we're powering some stuff that I don't necessarily want to power right now. I might have to go and see what all of my uh, dimensional transceivers are hooked up as because right now we're losing power and I don't want to lose power. One of the things it might be powering is the wither skeleton farm. Another thing that it might be powering should be probably these guys. So let's go see if these guys are turned off or on or something. See where they're getting their power from. This is I want the one of the reasons I built this thing was so that they would get power from that. But um, so are you? You're gaining power. That's good. You're gaining power, and you're using deep resonance power. Okay, so that might not be terrible. Let's take a look at this one over here. Yes, I saw you, Mr. Enderman. I saw you. You're all powered up. So your internal buffer is filled now. Are you are you on deep resonance also? Yes, okay. So solar array and deep resonance should be online for both of those. This one should be on the solar array and deep resonance. And it looks like it's probably full now. So that's cool. This should be gaining power now. Is it still on? It's still on. Still shows that we're losing 5,000 or we're losing 5 RF per tick. Power is definitely decreasing. But not by much. It's only losing yeah, it's only losing 5 RF a tick, which means that whatever this... This thing is putting out Buku power, right? So if I come in here like... You know, I don't know if I can do this or not. Let's, let's see. If I do this... I gotta be careful because down here there's radiation, so... His internal buffer is filled. See, we got hunger. What if we come over here? Just for a second. You are, you're generating almost 20,000 RF a tick. 20,000 RF. I mean, that's, that's bonkers. So what are we sending power to that's using that much, right? Yeah, see, we're... I mean, we're kind of holding steady, but it's, it's, that thing's going to run for a long time. Let me go and do some research. Let me go and do some looking around and see if I can find out what, um, you know, see if I can find out what is, what is drawing all the power from this guy. Because, uh, yeah, that's, that's interesting. Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, as promised, uh, came over here to the, uh, to the Batania base. Oh, crap. Turn that off. Actually, let's do this. Let's configure. Uh, let's configure. Blacklist coal. There. Now we don't pick up coal anymore. Ha ha ha. I love it. Um, anyway, as, as promised, I came over here to check on this guy while I was out around checking on uh, what the you know, what the deep resonance power was using. And uh, mana pool is doing okay. We were out of coal, but uh, mana pool's doing okay, so I decided to refill that. Uh, we will be getting back to Batania here very, very soon.
Um, I'd like your suggestions on what we should do next. Uh, one thing I am going to do next in the in, in the episodes is we're going to design our Batania base, and I've got a cool, I've got what I think is a cool looking design. Uh, so so that'll be cool. But oh, I forgot I could teleport over here. Oops, <laughs> rip. Uh, anyway, so I did. I think I found out what the uh, what the issue was. If we go to our Wither Skeleton Farm, uh, this guy was set up to uh, receive. Um, deep resonance power, and uh, it was using a lot of it, I think. Um, but now I've got it set up just to use the extra utilities power, and yeah, it is what it is. It's 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 working, and we're also getting wither skeleton uh, skulls. We have fourteen, so we can make uh, almost almost five more withers. Uh, plus, we have a couple of nether stars in here too. So nether, there we go. We have five nether stars, so that's cool. Um, but let's go back to our deep resonance base now. So let's go up to the top. Hey, there's another wither skeleton. Cool. Uh, we'll go outside. We'll go uh, over to the deep resonance base. And that shouldn't be running right now, but the sun's going down, right? And so the only thing that's powering our ore miner and process and ore and resource miner is the solar array. And so once the sun goes down, which is right now, power should start dropping off on this thing, I think. It's not really, but I don't know how I don't know how long the solar arrays stay powered after the sun goes down. But I would think I would think that those that that solar array should be just about dead by now, right? Like it shouldn't be putting out any power right now because the sun is definitely down. Are we? Can I put a torch down here? Yeah. That's empty. That's empty. Those are the internal buffers on... Ah, here we go. So that should kick on here in just a minute. Once the power gets down below 75%. And so anytime now? I mean, what's... What's 75% of 8 million? About 6? Should be about 6 million. And it's falling. We're losing 1,045 RF a tick. Well, I per tick. Anyway. But yeah, once that gets... So 75% of 8 million should be about 6 million. So once we get down below 6 million, this thing should kick on. And it should run until we get to about... Oh, there it went. Eh, I mean, 6.2 million. Eh. And it should run until we get to, well, 8 million at 90% of 8 million is 7.5. Yeah, 7.5 million. Hey, it's working. Dude, it's working. I love it. This is great. We're controlling power uh, in, a, in a pretty efficient way. I think I like this. Uh, now, question for you all. Do I change the parameters a little bit? Do I let it use more power, right? Do I let it use up more power? And 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 really, it should only run at night uh, because the solar arrays seem to be doing enough uh, that that this thing can charge up and stay charged up overnight, which is cool, right? But do I change this? Do I let it utilize more of the power reserve overnight? before it kicks in and starts generating again? Or do I leave it at 75%? Is there a, like an optimal, uh, is there an optimal percentage of power to use uh, to make that crystal last as long as it can possibly last? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I would be interesting to, it would be interested to see how much of this power uh, he is uh, actually used up to this point. So I should be able to see what his durability is. Oh, he's, yeah, he's, he's good. He's at 83%, so that's not terrible. I'm going to call that good. Call that very good because he was at 85% earlier, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, uh, all right. So anyway, I think, folks, I think that's probably going to do it for today. I know this is a little bit shorter episode, but I do have a few things that I've got to take care of IRL today, so I don't have a whole lot of time to record. So, so yeah. Folks, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. 
The other thing that helps out a lot is comments, so make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below. We'll chat about it. Leave your tips, your tricks, your pointers, your attaboys, your what in the world were you thinking, all that good stuff. We will talk about it in kind. Also, don't forget to stop by my Discord server where we talk about all things life, all things gaming, and all things Minecraft. Well, once again, folks, that's all we got time for today. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys are having a Merry Christmas Eve, because it is Christmas Eve as you are watching this. Um, tomorrow is Christmas, so Merry Christmas one and all. There will be an episode tomorrow, but we may miss an episode uh, because of recording times and stuff like that with, uh, with me trying to spend time with my family. But anyway, folks, that's going to do it. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and until next time, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. A very special thanks to my YouTube channel members. Through their dedicated support, they make this and all other videos possible. If you'd like to see your name here, please click the join button and become a YouTube channel member today.